So more and more of our children are coming with wisdom. I spent so much time with young kids, you know, six-year-old children that are discussing the most unbelievable issues. <clears throat> the genius of 12, 16-year-old who already have gone through all kind of experiences and yet our culture is also so thick with muck it's pulling us into rapid recycling of ourselves. But there's, there's an awakening and you are part of the awakening. So what do you do? You want to have a strong, alive libido. You want to have strong aliveness to be able to enjoy your human temple, but not at the level of enslavement and debauchery and debilitation. Instead, you want to experience all the chakras and the creative qualities that is at your disposal by just merely being yourself, by stilling, instead of following the dictates of the orchestration of our schooling, of our priestly set, of our political system. Revolt is in the making. Forty years ago, I started conceiving of the survival in the 21st century. I didn't include everything that I felt was, it was radical enough already at that time. No publisher would touch it. I self-published it. I self-typesetted it myself, too. And it created a change that took one generation to the point where within one generation, you had the arisal of the PCRM, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Over 3,000 MDs at that time belonged to it, and they took the posture that veganism is not only adequate nutritionally when properly chosen, but also it is contrary, anything contrary to veganism is contrary to good health practices. And now you can go to the movie house and see Knives over forks, where the work of Dr. Colin Campbell is personified his research. The China study, which was the largest study ever conducted on nutritional components and lifestyle factors, and he concluded with Oxford participation with China Nutrition Department participation, he concluded that we have not had long enough evolutionary time to adapt ourselves to the consumption of animal protein. And when you come to it, right now, in 2002, May 23rd, New York Times science section Harvard University declared on a standard American diet, 100% of Americans are saturated with what they call twisted protein, which is disorganized protein in terms of structure that does not participate in the building of the human system. Instead, it is aggravating and creating inflammatory conditions According to the Harvard Medical School study, they said it is responsible for probably all the degenerative diseases from autism to cancer to diabetes to heart diseases to everything that is going on. Well, that's kind of a little over-exaggerated even from my point of view, but I like them stating that. For it is much more complex issue of psychosomatic as well as environmental, but the dietary, even National Institute of Health says 80% of degenerative diseases are caused by, uh, can be controlled and reversed by dietary components. 
And it comes down to whole natural foods. Whole natural foods, when you start eating them, you're going to feel better. You're going to improve your vitality, your libido. Your health is going to improve. Your mind is going to become clear. You're going to be stronger. If you take that next step of eating more green foods, more germinated seeds, more fermented foods, more raw foods, now you're joining, you're going on the wild side where there is no disease anymore unless they're exposed to civilization. I'm talking about among the wild animals. They're basically only challenges. Who's going to be eating them? <laughs> but they live on an alkaline diet which keeps their electro voltage high. As a result, guess what? They're breaking the two-minute mile without training. They're juggling, you know, 500, 1,000 pounds weights like the gorillas just on celery and wild green foods. Strongest animals are green eaters. And we have a system that is totally suitable for greens. It is not only protective, but it's powerful. It builds alkalinity. Why do we have out of control addiction? Well, number one, like example to what they call junk foods, the sad foods. Well, they are designed with that intention for one, but they also serve an important function. If you are unhappy, and why are you unhappy? Because you've got a mind chatter of programming that has been implanted in you. You're a piece of shit by the TV. You're worthless unless you consume a certain product. Your mother has told you, your father has told you so many uh, that you are stupid. You are worthless. You are nothing. You'll never turn out into anything. For every yes, you get about 30 no's in your, throughout your childhood. Well, when you eat comfort foods, with all the crazy thoughts that are running in your head, they are stilled. It stupefies you. And you feel more comfortable, so you're reaching for more and more comfort foods. And now we have an epidemic where 60% of the nation is obese. In another, in another generation, it will be about 80%, if not higher, because they are not happy. Happiness is the foundation, not only for wealth, namely, as well as longevity and health. So, we basically chatter, there's tapping techniques, or there's meditation, or there's movement of your head. Remember, you want to be happy? Move your butt. Motion. In the word emotion is the word motion. When you don't have motion, you've got emotional crap hanging around in your head. Get yourself in motion. You feel happy. Foundation. So, get into being happy, number one, and you'll eat healthy, happy foods, whole foods, the sprouted foods, especially the germinated grains, will give you that libido energy to learn how to play your symphony and to share love. First of all, loving yourself. This is what you'll be doing by fueling yourself, by taking your body out for a walk, by laughing, by sharing, doing hug massage with others. And you will share now the love you have for yourself, the love for others. This will be a planet of love. Love making in all the ways that is possible. And I love you. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you.
That was great. That was awesome. amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Such a stream. Oh, you okay? Thank you.